Today, I'm reviewing two great boxing movies. Um, two of the greatest boxing movies ever made, in my opinion. Today, I'm reviewing The Great White Hype and, of course, Play It to the Bone. Uh, the Great White Hype, which came out in 1996, stars Samuel L. Jackson as a con artist boxing manager. And this film also stars Jeff Goldblum, Jamie Foxx, Cheech Marlin from Cheech and Chong, of course. And then Damon Wayans. Now, Damon Wayans stars as an arrogant boxer whom is managed by the shady con artist manager played by Samuel L. Jackson. In which Samuel L. Jackson's character, Reverend, the greedy shady con artist manager, cares about two things, winning and money. And what ends up happening is the Reverend, played by Samuel L. Jackson, comes up with a scheme that will create some controversy in the boxing league, which he ends up setting up a match between the champ, Damon Waynes, and some guy who is an amateur boxer who really never got his chance but fought for a while and actually beat the champ during his younger years. Um, so basically, the champ has a shot at his revenge against the guy who beat him several years ago. Now, what ends up happening is this is all a scheme to make money and, of course, make the champ look like he cares about giving an amateur fighter an actual shot at the title. Basically, this is a money scheme created by the Reverend to create some controversy. And what ends up happening is he gives... You know, this young amateur fighter, a chance to win the gold. Which the um, the amateur fighter is named Terry Irish, whom ends up being dubbed the Great White Hype. And this whole plan backfires when people start down in the fight and saying it's going to be a joke. And what ends up happening is the fight ends up happening near the end of the film and it has some pretty good res crazy results um this movie i really liked samuel l jackson in it i liked the guy who played terry irish great white hype i thought he was really good i thought damon ways waynes played a great arrogant champion um this film like has some of the best best fighting scenes at the end the best the best fighting scene ever. Um, you know, and it's a great film. It has a surprising ending to it and a twist. And I have to give this film a five-star rating. Now I'm going to talk about one of the greatest boxing movies of all time that came out. Um, Play It to the Bone, which stars Antonio, Antonio Banderas as Siani or Sigani or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And then Woody Harrison as Vince. <clears throat> Which are two, what they play as, as two ex-fighters whom had their shot years ago but ended up screwing things up with themselves. And they end up getting one last shot at redemption at the big time in pro boxing. When a boxer is killed by a gunshot. And you know these two get the call. You know how would you feel about having one last fight. How would you feel about one last shot at redemption. So the deal ends up being set. For both of them to fight each other. These two friends played by. Of course Woody Harrison and Antonio Banderas. They end up getting a shot. For 50 grand and a possible title shot out of whoever wins between these two. You know, what ends up happening is these two friends end up going to Las Vegas alongside with their their love interest, which is this woman that they're both in love with. And um what ends up 
happening is she basically umps the ante, whichever one wins out of Vince and Sigani gets her. Plus the 50 grand and a title shot, of course. They get the girl, whichever wins out of the two gets the girl they want. You know, get the girl, get the money, and get the championship. And this movie has great acting in it. It came out in 1999. I mean, this Play It To The Bone ends up being simply one of the 